Hey gang, I'm Mark Ellis, and it is time to drop the puck on a new showdown here this week. We're gonna see who's the bigger action star, Sylvester or Arnold. We're about to find out. Welcome to the party, pal. I'm the party pooper. You get a fight or you plan on boring me to death. Why not have a little bit of duking out? And here's how it works. Round one, box office. Round number two, tomato meter. Round three, action sequences. Who has the best ones? Ding the bell because we're about to talk box office. The stats here can favor either contestant. Stallone has more movies, so for the overall lifetime box office achievement, that actually goes to Sylvester Stallone, and it ain't that close. He's got $4.9 billion in movie tickets, while Arnold Schwarzenegger still a very respectable $3.7 billion. However, the average box office of each one of their movies Arnold beats Sly slightly, $124 million to Sly's $118 million. $6 million is the difference. That's pocket change. Shut up! Doesn't it feel like for two guys who can both bench press North Dakota that Arnold does more of the heavy lifting? It's his name that stands out. Oh, is this the part where I'm supposed to be scared? His face is bigger on the posters. He's the singular hero of his movies more often. Stallone may be the better writer, actor, certainly better director. I don't know if Schwarzenegger even knows there's a camera on his phone. If I have to open any action flick with one action star, I'm taking Arnie all day long. Hasta la vista, baby. I'm taking Arnie because I went to go see Terminator 2. I was 11 years old and snuck in. And then my mom found out and I got grounded for two weeks. That was Judgment Day. Am I crazy? Do you take Sly or do you take Arnie? How about we all take a look at the actual quality of the film? This is where we rely on the ever trusty tomato meter. Let's start with the honorable Mr. Schwarzenegger. His highest film according to the tomato meter is The Terminator, the original one from 1984. It's 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. His lowest rated major movie, Batman and Robin. All right, everyone, chill, 10%. That is very, very cold. I think Twins, Kindergarten Cop, they make Oscar and Stop or My Mom Will Shoot look even worse. It's not a tumor. I've just been told that's not possible. Those movies cannot possibly look any worse. On the other side of the ledger, Sylvester Stallone is still making great content. His highest film on the tomato meter, 2015's Creed, 95%. His lowest rated major movie, The Specialist, at 7%. Where have you gone? James Woods. Also, fun fact, he directed Staying Alive. Yeah, that's 0% on the tomato meter. Plus, Stallone helped usher in the era of the aging action star still doing it. He gets a gang together, and he makes us all feel like we're kids again at the box office. What happened to you? Got my ass kicked. That actually even helped Arnold Schwarzenegger stay relevant when he was doing his post-governor comeback. You guys remember when, when he was the governor of California? Uh, anyway. So how about the averages? Arnold Schwarzenegger is narrowly defeating Sly in the average tomato meter. Arnie's is 46.1%, Sly just below him at 44%. How are neither one of these guys averaging mid-90s? Their films are all-time greats. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Sly gets my vote, but it's up to y'all. I'm busy anyway, so give this job to my friend here. He loves playing in the jungle, right? Right. Battles, this is what we want from Sly and from Arnie. Now sure, Rocky had to go the distance against some of the best boxers of his era. <laughs> and Rambo had to take on everything from a local police force to resistance fighters and blonde Wesley Snipes at one point. Is it cold in here? Or is it just me? But Arnold Schwarzenegger, he fought Satan. Like he literally fought Satan. You can watch a boxer and learn how they bob and weave. I don't know if you can watch The Exorcist and be like, oh, there's Beelzebub's weakness. God, you. I don't know how to fight the devil, but Schwarzenegger did it and won, not to mention when he took on an alien. He went to Mars and he fought people who have more breasts than usually we do here on Earth. Some are screaming, hey, wait a minute, so let's do a tiebreaker. The Carl Weathers Factor. 
which should be a reality show if it's not already. Let's see what happens when each of our stars went up against Action Jackson. So Stallone fought him in the ring three times. He lost one, he won one, and then they had a match just in private, just for them. And we don't really know who won, but Stallone did hint in the first Creed that he lost that fight to Apollo. Who won the third fight? He did. So he's one and two against Carl Weathers. Meanwhile, Arnold easily defeated Carl Weathers when they did that chummy handshake turned greeting turned arm wrestling match at the beginning of Predator. I guess that's how real men greet each other. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Arnold survived Predator. Carl Weathers, spoiler alert, did not. So maybe Dutch should have recruited Ivan Drago instead. Too soon? Sorry to the Creed family. The wild card round. We're gonna throw in something crazy, and for Arnold and Sly, it's gotta be one-liners. Oh, this is too close to call. They're just so good at delivering such bad lines. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! Get to the chopper! You're a disease, and I'm the cure. Come with me if you want to live. Stop! Or my mom will shoot! So maybe we do this. Let's try to imagine how each star would do with their counterparts rivalries. I'm your worst nightmare. Yo, Adrian, I did it. Or how about Sylvester Stallone garbling out such phrases as, eh, get to the chopper, I'll be back. I was told here by the crew that my Arnold and Sly impersonations are perfectly not good. Thanks to all the support I get here, Rotten Tomatoes. But at the end of the day, after looking at all the facts and all the stats, I'm gonna go with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold gets the win. Or at least he gets my vote for the win. I'm just one vote. Now it's up to y'all. You can go in the comment section and simply just say who you think won. Or do you agree with me? Did I make a killer argument? Of course I made a killer argument. But do you think it's also Arnold? Then type Arnold because Schwarzenegger is really hard to spell. Or if you think Stallone won, just type Sly, type Sylvester, type Rocky, Rambo. We're going to disseminate it here at Rotten Tomatoes and determine a winner that you can tune in the next episode to find out. So, we'll have the winner of that, and we'll have a brand new matchup for you. How do we determine that? I don't know. Apparently, you guys are going to do that, too. So, comment and let us know what matchup do you want to see. Should it be two more action stars going head-to-head? -head? Should it be two romantic comedy stars? Let's have Tom Hanks and Ryan Gosling duke it out. I'd pay good money to see it. Okay, well, I got to say bye because the bus is leaving. I'm Mark Ellis. Thanks for tuning in. Do I really have to sign off this? All right. Hasta la vista, baby.